Hi everybody, it's Ian from UKEartsWork.info. Hope you're all well today. As always, I say this, it's a short video. It is pretty short. Um, this is a follow-up to the videos that I did recently, which this remains part of the playlist on, which are routes into the UK legally for creatives and support staff. Um, I've been asked again this several times over the last few days, and I'm, I need to make it really, really clear. If you're coming in on any of those routes at all, when you first enter the UK, you must, absolutely must get your passport stamped and activated appropriately um, the reason you're in the UK. If you do not get a passport stamp to say you're either in on a permitted paid engagement visa or permitted paid engagement visa route, passport stamp officer uh, stamps it, writes on it what you're in for. Or if you have a certificate of sponsorship from someone like me, a registered UKVI sponsor, you must, absolutely must have your passport stamped with that information. If it's a certificate of sponsorship, there's a number and that number will then be activated by the immigration officer and you're totally legal then for the duration of the certificate. We have regularly people being either waved through or forgetting to ask the officer or using the automated passport gates, you know, the things where you put your passport down, just look into a camera and then walk through. Do not do any of those. Even if you're told to do so, do not leave the immigration area until you have seen an immigration officer and insist on that passport stamp. It's really important. Doesn't matter if you've got a certificate of sponsorship and you go through and it's not stamped, you're still in the country illegally to work. So, Simple thing is, that's what you need to do. Also, I've been asked again and again about permitted paid engagement visa route for non-visa nationals like EU citizens. You can turn up at the border, doesn't cost you anything. You provide a letter of invitation and other documents if asked. And the passport is stamped with permitted paid engagement route, which allows you 30 days. I am aware of people being told in the last week, several people, here's a letter of invitation, that's all you need, you'll be fine, all good. It's not true, or it might be true if you're lucky, but the immigration officer can ask you to provide the same documentation you would have if you were applying for a permitted paid engagement. That means you have to provide proof of sufficient financial means whilst you're staying in the country. You have to provide information about a ticket that has been bought so that they know you're going to leave the country. You have to provide contracts or invitation letters, okay? And you also have to provide proof of internationally renowned status. Obviously that doesn't really work easily for techs, so sound, lighting engineers, etc. Which is why generally we always say get a certificate of sponsorship, short form, COS from a certified sponsor, a registered sponsor like me. Maybe I'm certified or certifiable. I'm not sure doing all this for free. Um, anyway, so that's it. Stay safe, stay well, stay happy. And please make sure that you get that passport stamp in your passport when you're coming into the country. That doesn't matter if you're a non-visa national and visa national. However you're coming in, make sure you get that stamp, particularly if you're on a certificate of sponsorship or a permitted paid engagement. Stay well, stay safe, stay happy. Here's to a better world soon. Ciao.